Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. This morning, this is Christmas Eve, of course, we're at Aldi here. Yesterday, I was at the Costco, and what I'm going to do is a, uh, a compare and contrast. I mean, we already know Costco is really expensive. The only bargain I really found at Costco was the sockeye salmon, and uh, that looked really good, but it was previously frozen. I mean, how else are they going to get it? Anyways, uh, from Alaska, but anyways, uh, we're going to go into Aldi here, and I know there's bargains here, and uh, i got to get a case of water, so we're going to see what the price of the water is here, and I want to show you the potatoes, the, the difference to the potatoes I bought during the week here I bought 10 pounds of uh, russet potatoes for $3.49 we're gonna see if they still have some so we're gonna go in here let's check some prices let's have some fun don't forget to like and subscribe thanks on oh it's a nice Christmas Eve morning here and everybody's gonna be out here get their last-minute gifts and uh, we're gonna go into uh, Aldi here and get my last-minute uh, goodies here and we're gonna see what they have I really like the store it's becoming one of my I'm one of my favorites I can see the cabbage is 85 cents a pound here. It doesn't look too bad. It's cold in the store this morning. And I do see the lettuce. How much is the lettuce? I don't see the price on it. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's that cold, but uh, <laughs> I don't see the price. If I find it, I'll let everybody know. $1.77 for sweet potatoes here. And um, look, at you get four of them. I don't know what it comes out to per pound. 59 cents, that's not too bad. Here's some bananas right here. 57 cents for the Chiquita bananas. Nice and green, I like that. And what else do they have? Here's lemons, 3.89 for lemons. And there was a bit, oh, these are monsters. These are monster lemons right there. And so you get four of them in there, and it's 3.89. Sorry, but that's pricey. That's that's too high for me. But the mandarins, three pounds is 3.59. We have a package of these at home, <laughs> so I don't think that's too bad. Seedless lemons, two twenty-nine, and you get four tiny little seedless lemons in here. They're real tiny, a little bigger than a golf ball. Two twenty-nine. Lemons are pricey. Limes are two forty-five. I don't understand it. <laughs> two forty-five for limes, just pricey. These mandarin, oh three. Here's oranges. I looked at those already. Here's oranges here, Florida. Well, these are not oranges. They're grapefruit. Happy holiday. It said four ninety-nine for grapefruit. That's the size of an orange. There you go. Five bucks for those guys. Let's check out the celery here. 95 cents. 95 cents. See, this is a deal. What was the organic celery? <laughs> a broken part there. Uh, the It was $5.99 for two and, a, two and a quarter or two and a half pounds at Costco. There it is. $1.29 for the lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. That's a monster head of lettuce right there. I like that. And butternut squash is $1.25 a pound. And the spaghetti squash right here is $1.25 a pound. Cabbage, you already saw that, 85 And some of these zucchinis right here, they're $1.29 per pound. And the, the yellow onions are $2.15 right here. That's not too bad. I bought these here before. $2.29 for the red onions. See that? $2.29. They look really good. I do like the red onions. And how much are these onions? These are the sweet onions. These are also $2.29, so uh, I don't think that's too awfully bad. Oh, here's the potatoes. Three, $3.49 russet potatoes. These are nice. Yes, I'm going to touch the food. <laughs> I'm going to touch the potatoes. Look at these are really nice russet potatoes. I cut some up last night, and I soaked them in uh, salt water, and um, then I boiled them, and then I'm going to pan fry them, and then put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 425 and they're going to come out scrumptious delicious crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside that's a good deal right there 349 for uh, 10 pounds of russet potatoes can't beat it here's more potatoes and i bought these red potatoes here last time 399 you get five pounds of red potatoes and they're really good i love the red potatoes and they're all always the same size and these were really good i had them at work and i really liked them and here's these little baby Dutch yellow potatoes, $3.29 for a pound and a half. They're always pricey. Same with these, these little creamer potatoes, $3.29. Garlic is $1.79. I think this is this is high. I'm gonna go to Publix and get some garlic. They have big garlic there. And here's some russets here, $4.19 for five pounds, baking potatoes. But um, you can see the size of them. But I like that one that package for $3.49, and they're good, really good. I need to get some bread here 
and you know I feed my parrot bread in my, in my labs they really like bread but you know I know it's for human consumption honey wheat here is $1.75 and this doesn't look bad at all honey wheat bread and um, compared to if you want the let's say Target to be $4 Publix $4 of course it's name brand nature's nature's wheat I think but half the price of going to Publix $2.39 for some of this stuff whole wheat bread $2.39 for this that's unbelievable that's a really good price. Whole grain, 100% whole wheat bread. They even have the 12 grain bread, and that's all the same price. 12 grain, $2.39. What a deal. Their deals here, they even have rye bread. Marble rye bread here is $2.99. Look at that. It even has the caraway seeds in it. I like that. That looks good, but I want to get some white bread here. Here's, this is $1.29, <laughs> so I'm just going to get two loaves. And, um, yeah, why not? Yeah, I know people say, what do you do feeding it to your Labradors and your parrot? Well, they like them. In the brioche, the hamburger buns, these are really soft. People said, don't push on the buns. $3.99 in your, your hamburger buns and your hot dog buns, all the same, $1.29. I mean, it's really hard to beat stuff like that. And uh, in the brioche hot dog buns, these are the cheapest I've ever seen brioche hot dog buns, $3.19. 319 this is this is really light nine ounces but if you ever want brioche now walmart they would be uh 499 at walmart and they even have the the sesame seed right here brioche buns right there and they're 399 that's a bargain it really is all this stuff all a lot of stuff at all these a bargain let's check the peanut butter it's really starting to pick up with people here peanut butter 395 for this peanut creamy 395 and it's 40 ounces and here's some for $1.85. Try and get this at Walmart or Publix. No way. They would never do that. What else do they have? Creamy peanut butter here. Oh, it's organic. $4.29. Oh, you put the word organic, non-GMO here. Hazelnut berry nut. Oh, this is that that cocoa spread right here. $2.69. Apricot preserves. I love this stuff. $2.35. Orange marmalade I like too. Since we're here, local honey. Florida honey, $6.49. Clover honey, $5.49 for the clover honey. And one of these little guys that would be $5.98 at Publix is $3.89. The little bear. I grew up with stuff like this as a kid. I just like to see it on the table, you know. $3.89 for that. I think it's pricey. I don't know why. Probably because of the bear. Let's check their milk prices. $2.85 for a gallon of milk right here. 285 that's not too bad a half gallon is a dollar 71 and I bought the half gallon about a week ago because I wanted it with my snacks I bought some uh, I bought some cookies here and eggs are a dollar 64 right here for a dozen of the large and they've got they've got a crap load of them in here look look how many they have back there holy smolies now I need some water here and um, <laughs> what to buy they have the little tiny containers of them here, the 10 ounce, 359. They're little minis. Look at this. Look at, the, look at how tiny they are. Look at that. 389. I don't need the big ones there. 389 for this. I really like Zephyr Hills. This is all purified. Well, it says spring water. And here's purified. So here's spring water. I don't know where it's from. 389. I like Zephyr Hills. I'm gonna go to Walmart after this, but a case of water now 389 and here's purified 329 probably the cheapest you'll ever find it ridiculous and of course Gatorade's never going to come down in price 728 it's 740 a uh, 744 at Walmart and this is probably 899 at Publix so <laughs> it's never going to come down in price it's just not dropping well, let's check their chicken prices look at this chicken it's still 229 a pound for the chicken breast the family size so this whole container is eleven dollars and eight cents and it's 4.84 pounds almost five pounds of chicken breast look at that boneless skinless 229 a pound that's a bargain bone and chicken thighs a buck 59 boneless skinless chicken thighs 229 a pound that's a little pricey but it's boneless skinless so I think that's on par chicken breast tenderloins are oh don't fall on me 399 that's not too bad oh oh my gosh <laughs> and uh, what else chicken leg quarters I really like the leg quarters and they're a buck 19 a pound six dollars for all of these 
there's five pounds of these guys. I really like them. All natural Kirkwood. Isn't that the, uh, oh, that's Kirkland at Costco. Oh, oh, they're very close to the name. And a whole chicken right here at Purdue is a young, whole young chicken. Well, they wouldn't sell old ones, right? Six twenty-five each right there. Average weight is 3.75 pounds, so probably about two bucks a pound. Let's check some of the pork here. Pork shoulder, 339. That's a little pricey, I think. Of course, we're not at Sam's. Uh, boneless cut, 399. What is this? Two pack boneless pork tenderloin, 379. I don't think that's too bad. And what else do they have? The pork chops are 309, assorted, 309 a pound. Italian sausage, mild, 369. And here's your maple pork sausage, breakfast links. That's not too bad, $2.19 for that. That's not too bad at all. I, I remember growing up on stuff like this. Of course, the pan's half at the time you're done. And they have all the seafood here. Norwegian Atlantic salmon, $10.99 a pound. Steelhead trout, $11.29. Pacific cod is $9.99. They have one of them here. $7.09 for that. Well, it's a, you know, just a portion you buy just, just for yourself. And tilapia is $6.79. Now that's pricey product. The Columbia, you know, it's farm raised. What else do they have? Let's look at some of the ham. Like I said, this is all per pound. So this ham, the sliced ham, $4.49 a pound, but $11. It's by the pound. So you have to watch it when you're looking at stuff like that. And some of your lunch meats here, $5.29. And um, that's 15 ounces. See, they don't give you the full pound. And um, see some of the jumbo buttermilk biscuits here, $1.75. These are really pricey. I don't know, why, and that's a pound. I don't know why this stuff is so expensive. Cookie dough. If you're going to make your own cookies, $3.49, you get one pound. My gosh, that cookie dough stuff has really gone up. Then your bacon. The bacon at Costco actually came down. I saw four pounds for $14, but here it's $4.25 a pound. Jamestown brand is $3.99, $4.25, $4.25. What is the butter? $2.99 a pound for the butter right there. It's getting busy already. Philadelphia brand cream cheese is, is $2.82. I really like this on celery, but $2.82 for this. Oh gosh, and it's on sale. Save a dime. <laughs> now, if you really want to partake, they have some inexpensive wine here. $8.99 for it. It's quarter cut. And... Um, other wines, $7.99, $12.99 for Chardonnay right there, $7.99. And where's the some of the cheap wine? Here's $9.99, $7.99. Here's stuff for $3.45. Look at this Merlot right there, Chardonnay. It's all $3.45 for your wine. Not too bad, I tell you. I don't know what it tastes like, but after the first bottle, who cares, right? <laughs> I was trying to find some tea, black tea. And let me see if I can find some black tea 209. I did find it. Look at this. I like it. Black tea 100 bags 209. Same price at Walmart for the great value. So I'm going to get me one of these guys. And here's their Arizona tea, a 12 pack, 5 548 for that stuff. English breakfast tea is $1.99. And uh, this is the fancy stuff. And um, two bucks. And you get 20 bags. That's a little pricey. I'm sticking with that. I wanted to check out uh, some of their produce here on this side. I, I like, I really like these. But uh, oh, these are chocolate chip. I thought they were blueberry muffins. But three forty-five croissants are two eighty-nine. They're always pricey. They do have a bunch of um, bake shop stuff here, three eighty-five. I think it could have been better priced. But here's the blueberry muffins, three three eighty-five for the guys right there. 385. Oh, I don't know if it's a bargain or not, but it's half the price of Whole Foods or Publix, that's for sure. What else do they have? A pecan pie right here. 569, one pound, seven ounces. I think you can, well, no, I was thinking pumpkin pie for five dollars, but that's a pecan pie. They're always pricey. And what else do they have? Oh, lemon cake here, banana nut and lemon loaf. It doesn't have the frosting on it. I like the frosting, 369. And what else do they have? Corn, sweet corn, bioengineered corn, 329. Always very pricey. I don't know why. And what else? 
organic raspberries 329 my gosh but I bought a uh, this was a dollar 29 during the week two pounds of carrots whole carrots that's still a good price a dollar 39 organic celery hearts 279 279 romaine hearts 239 for three of them I think that's a deal I think that's a deal right there they look really good these look really good for two dollars and 39 cents look at the guys they look beautiful that's a bargain I think that's a bargain right there and even your spinach is a, is a bargain at a dollar 49 looks really nice nice spinach here's some Caesar salad kits 279 and they actually look good they actually look really nice what else these are always these seedless uh, cucumbers 95 cents each mini cucumbers a dollar 89 and they're refrigerated here's the baby Bella mushrooms a buck a buck 99 string beans 299 string beans 299 French cut French cut <laughs> and the uh, radish is a dollar 39 that's a good deal that's the best I've ever seen them and your mushrooms they're a dollar 89 for the sliced and here's the portabellas. Look at these guys. These are really good on the grill. $2.49 for two of them. They look really good. Try and beat that. Publix and I don't even think Walmart sells those things. If they do, they, they'd probably be moldy. That's a good price though. Grapes, $5.99. Broccoli, a buck fifty-nine a pound. A buck fifty-nine a pound. My parrot likes this too, but it looks really good. That's a good deal right there. Cauliflower, $2.49 each. 249 each what's a little tiny head of cauliflower oh look at that that's a tiny head for two dollars and fifty cents that's a little bit small 429 for cotton candy grapes 429 that's pricey right there what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and these are pine berries 499 for the guys here's some raspberries not organic 259 for the guys two 259 that's getting crowded here let's check the apples here let me see what are these prunes oh plums 379 why are the why are the prunes in here oh there's the plums right there because they look the same and they're 379 honey crisp apples a dollar 89 and they look really good they do look good and 299 for some of these apples never heard of them but you get three pounds. 319 for Macintosh, three pounds. See the prices are really good. Honeycrisp, 329. They look good. I like the price, a little over a buck a pound. 399 for pink lady apples. You get three pounds of them. Pink ladies. See the everything is I like the prices here. 339 for gala apples. But you have to buy it in bulk and a dollar forty-nine for a uh, a pineapple. I don't know where they're from, but they're a dollar forty-nine. Look at that's a big guy right there. A dollar forty-nine for the pineapples. And here's the cantaloupes. Everybody says, don't touch the things. Two eighty-nine. The personal seedless watermelons, three seventy-nine. And the mayonnaise prices, three nineteen for the whipped. And mayonnaise here, their brand here, is three nineteen. Come out of there, real mayonnaise, Berman's <laughs> and Duke's mayonnaise. The name of my Labrador is 464 and Hellman's is, is 548 it's hiding there and they don't want you to see the price a 548 if you buy the name brand a miracle whip 548 always when you buy the branded stuff it's always expensive and these olives are really good a buck 59 Spanish olives pimento stuffed and uh, that's a good price a lot of your your pickles right here that looks a little precarious on there I don't want to get blamed 219 for these sweet bread and butter chips. That's good. Relish a buck fifty-nine. And that's really good there. And here's some jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. Hot. And here's what I like. I've got a couple of these in the fridge. Deli sliced banana pepper rings. I've given up on my pepper and sini because they're so expensive. These are even better. Lots of vinegar in there. Oh, they're they're delicious. 229. Let's look at the, the avocados. I was going to say mangoes. 
and um, minis, two twenty nine. I don't know if that's a good price here. They're they're fifty nine cents each. That's not bad. And eighty nine cents for the Roma tomatoes. These are the smallest Roma tomatoes I've ever seen, but the price is good. Two eighty nine for the tomatoes here. Hot house, a dollar ninety nine for these, and you get three of them. I'll stick with the Romas. And these are two sixty nine. That's not too bad for the little cherry tomatoes and the green, the, not green peppers, but the regular peppers. That's that's not bad because they're dollar forty nine each for the tricolor, and um, two eighty nine you get three of them here, and the green peppers two twenty nine, and you get three of the guys. I know you can get them for eighty six cents at at Walmart, and they're monsters because they're bioengineered, and and the cereal is always a bargain here. Here's an example. <clears throat> and the cereal is always a bargain here. Uh, you have the, the Brandon Post Pebbles 409 and then the Millville Honey Wheat here 209. So it's almost half price. Almost half price. Cocoa Puffs here. It's all Millville brand. There's the Millville. $1.95. And it's uh, here's the Fruit Rounds. $1.68 for this. See everything here is just a better price in your Frosted Flakes Millville a big family size, three thirty-nine. Where is the regular? I don't see it. In cinnamon toast, General Mills, four forty-one. Off-brand Millville, two seventy-nine. Shredded wheat, two o nine, two o nine. Millville. Here's Cheerios, name brand, large size. Look at this. That's a small size, but the price is large, four seventy-two. And if you go with the Millville, 265, that's a bargain. That's the difference. Expensive, not expensive. Large size, family size, and they still have this pure maple syrup on sale, 549. It's just sitting here very precariously. <laughs> Look at that. That's not bad. 12 and a half ounces. <laughs> Stay there, buddy. 549. That's the deal. And here's your. Um, your syrup with your high fructose corn syrup, 235, Millville, 235, 24 ounces. I'd pick this every day. Hungry Jack, 259, and the Millville butter, buttermilk, $1.95. See the difference in price? That's what you're going to save. I mean, you can save money at Aldi. I'm not promoting it, but I'm just saying you can save money. That's what my channel's all about is saving money, and that's what I like to do. Well, I get ripped off by uh, uh, greedy corporations and, and rising prices. I just I just hate it. Well, that's all I got here because I have two other trips. I'm going to Walmart, and uh, i got to get the water there. And I'm going to Publix. I'm not buying water at Publix, so I'm going to get ripped off. Anyways, i got to put the cart back so I can get my quarter. So I really like Aldi. It's becoming my uh, favorite store here. So let's put, we'll put the cart back and look at my quarters hidden in there. So i got to get my quarter. You know me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, on. Well, that's going to conclude it for the uh, shopping haul. I just got the uh, the black tea for two oh nine, which I really like. It's hard to find it at Walmart in stock. And uh, the bread here, $1.29 each. <laughs> and the bread here is really good. Uh, it's fast becoming my favorite store, Aldi. I really like it. So I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.